guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Another real quick scuba tip for you. Um, we're going to kind of continue on with our dry suit series here for a little bit. With the dry suit, when you get out of the water, you're dry, you're inside it, your undergarments are dry. However, the suit itself is wet. Now, for environmental purposes, you don't want to ruin your suit by just throwing it in the back of your truck but putting everything else in a warm area because that suit can freeze, the zipper can freeze, latex seals are... Uh, subject to that cold weather fluctuation. So you always want to make sure you put everything up. Now there's a problem with that. When you put your suit up, and let's say, because I keep my undergarments here in this bag, the bag that I keep my dry suit and everything in, it's a two-part bag. I have the bag itself here for the dry suit, but I also have a small compartment for my undergarments. So when I put my gear away and the dry suit itself is still wet, this little side pocket here does not really protect my undergarments from the moisture that's going to come off the suit. And that moisture is going to leak through this material. Then by the time I get back to the shop, my the undergarments are soaking wet. They stink. They smell real bad. So I want to try to protect those the best I can from the moisture of the dry suit or the water that's on the dry suit. And it's a real simple way to do that. I'll show you real quick. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is place my dry suit down inside the dry suit bag itself. Now, before I put the upper compartment into the bag itself, I want to put some type of water barrier or waterproof barrier to prevent any water from coming off the suit, going through the pocket material, and then getting onto my undergarments. There's a couple things that you can do. Uh, one thing that I use is this microfiber towel here by Trident. Of course, this is just in the shape and the color of a dye flag. But it's really good absorbent. <coughs> it's kind of like a chamois cloth. It's going to absorb all that moisture. And it's going to collect it into the cloth and not allow it to soak through this part of the bag. So all I'm going to do is simply fit it in here. And you might want to unravel it. That way it kind of encompasses the whole entire suit itself. Uh, one thing that you could do is roll up your suit in that towel. But if I roll it and I make multiple layers of it, it's going to be even a better protected. Now that I have that on there, I can take the smaller pocket of the suit that has my undergarments in it, and I can place it in a bag. Now I have a protective layer between the suit and the undergarments. In the bottom of the bag, this one has a drain hole that allows, through gravity, it's going to pull all that water down, and any moisture that's on top of the suit will not soak through the upper portion or the internal back part of it and won't get on my undergarments. Now, of course, as soon as I get back to the shop, I want to pull the suit out, hang it up, let it dry, clean the zipper, um, mess with the seals, anything that I need to do to properly clean it and let it dry. But this is a great little tip during your travels that that way you're not getting your undergarments wet during the travel back to the shop or to your house. So guys, that's this week's scuba tip. Always make sure to check back each week for a new video. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, you like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, we appreciate your business.